Imagine standing on Mars billions of years ago. Instead of endless red deserts, you'd see rivers winding through valleys, lakes glistening in the sunlight, and vast oceans stretching across the horizon. Blue skies, filled with clouds, would arch over a planet teeming with potential. This is the Mars that scientists have come to understand through decades of exploration. A Mars that was once vibrant and alive, but transformed into the frozen desert we know today. Let's unravel the remarkable story of how Mars lost its potential for life and explore the cutting-edge discoveries that are reshaping our understanding of the Red Planet. Mars wasn't always the cold, barren wasteland we see in images from NASA's rovers and orbiters. Geological evidence tells us that the planet had a thick atmosphere capable of supporting liquid water on its surface. River channels carved into ancient terrain, sedimentary rock formations, and the presence of hydrated minerals all confirm that Mars was once wet. Some valleys on Mars are so large they could dwarf the Grand Canyon, and lake beds like Gale Crater suggest that liquid water pooled on the surface for extended periods. One of the most astonishing discoveries comes from studying the northern lowlands of Mars. This vast, relatively flat region appears to have once been home to an ocean that may have covered nearly 20% of the planet's surface. Scientists estimate this ocean held as much water as the Arctic Ocean on Earth. Imagine waves crashing along Martian shores, fed by rivers that snaked through volcanic plains and highlands. These waterways, combined with rainfall and a hydrological cycle, would have created a planet that looked strikingly Earth-like. But Mars's story took a dramatic turn. The key to understanding its transformation lies in its magnetic field. Or, more accurately, the lack of one. Mars once had a magnetic field similar to Earth's, generated by a molten, churning core. This magnetosphere acted like a shield, protecting the planet's atmosphere from the relentless solar wind, streams of charged particles emitted by the sun. For reasons not yet fully understood, Mars' core cooled and solidified around 4.2 billion years ago, shutting down its magnetic field. Without this protective barrier, the solar wind began stripping away the atmosphere in a process known as atmospheric sputtering. The loss of Mars's atmosphere was slow, but devastating. Over millions of years, the once thick layer of gases that blanketed the planet was eroded, leaving behind a thin shell that is now less than 1% the density of Earth's atmosphere. Without an atmosphere to trap heat, Mars cooled rapidly. Temperatures plummeted, and the liquid water that once flowed freely either froze into the ground or sublimated directly into space. The planet transitioned from warm and wet to cold and dry. Mars today averages temperatures of about negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 60 degrees Celsius, and its surface pressure is too low to support liquid water for long. However, evidence of its watery past is everywhere. Polar ice caps at the Martian poles contain both water and carbon dioxide ice. Beneath the surface, Radar data suggests vast reservoirs of water ice, some of which could potentially be tapped for future exploration missions. This dramatic transformation raises a fascinating question. Could Mars have supported life during its habitable phase? The answer might lie in the rocks and soil still scattered across the planet. On Earth, life began in water. Single-celled organisms thrived in nutrient-rich oceans and around hydrothermal vents that provided warmth and minerals. Mars had similar conditions early in its history, including volcanic activity, a thick atmosphere, and abundant water. These ingredients make it plausible that microbial life could have emerged. NASA's Perseverance rover, which landed in Jezero Crater in 2021, is actively searching for signs of ancient life. Jezero was once a lake, and its sedimentary deposits are ideal for preserving organic molecules and potential biosignatures. Equipped with advanced instruments, Perseverance is collecting rock samples that will eventually be returned to Earth for detailed analysis. These samples could hold microscopic fossils or chemical traces of ancient life, offering a glimpse into Mars' biological potential. Another tantalizing discovery came from the European Space Agency's Mars Express Orbiter, which detected evidence of liquid water beneath Mars' south polar ice cap. Although the water is likely briny and extremely cold, it raises the possibility that some form of microbial life could still exist in protected subsurface environments. These pockets of water may resemble Earth's Antarctic subglacial lakes. 
where life persists despite extreme conditions. Understanding Mars' transformation also provides valuable insights into the evolution of planetary systems. By studying the red planet, scientists can draw parallels to Earth's history and future. For example, Mars's volcanic regions, such as Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in the solar system, offer clues about the role of volcanic activity in shaping planetary climates. Similarly, the erosion of Mars's atmosphere by solar wind serves as a cautionary tale for Earth, reminding us of the importance of protecting our own atmosphere from human-made damage. Mars exploration also has profound implications for humanity's future. If we can unlock the secrets of its past, we can better prepare for the challenges of establishing a human presence there. The idea of humans living and working on Mars is no longer science fiction. Space agencies like NASA, along with private companies like SpaceX, are developing technologies to make this dream a reality. From habitats that can withstand radiation to systems that can extract water from ice, progress is being made to ensure that Mars becomes a stepping stone for humanity's expansion into the solar system. The potential for human exploration is intertwined with the search for resources. Future missions might rely on extracting water from the Martian surface, either for drinking or for breaking down into hydrogen and oxygen for fuel. Additionally, Martian soil could be used to grow crops, providing a sustainable food source for long-term missions. These innovations are critical for transforming Mars into a place where humans can survive and thrive. The search for life on Mars also extends beyond its surface. Scientists are now investigating whether meteorites from Mars, ejected into space by ancient impacts, might hold clues about the planet's early habitability. These Martian meteorites, found on Earth, contain minerals and gases that match the composition of Mars' crust and atmosphere. Some even show microscopic features that resemble fossilized bacteria, though their origins remain hotly debated. As we continue to explore Mars, the discoveries being made are shaping not just our understanding of the planet, but also our view of the universe. If Mars, a planet so close to Earth, once had the conditions for life, it raises the possibility that life could exist elsewhere in the cosmos. Exoplanets, planets orbiting other stars, are being discovered at an incredible rate, and many of them are in the so-called habitable zone, where liquid water could exist. By studying Mars, we are refining the tools and techniques needed to search for life beyond our solar system. Looking ahead, the future of Mars exploration is more exciting than ever. Upcoming missions, like the European Space Agency's delayed ExoMars rover, aim to drill deep into the Martian subsurface, where life might be sheltered from harsh surface conditions. Advances in robotics, artificial intelligence, and remote sensing are enabling us to study Mars in unprecedented detail, revealing new aspects of its history and potential. The implications of finding life on Mars would be profound, challenging our understanding of life's uniqueness and forcing us to reconsider our place in the universe. If life can emerge on two neighboring planets, it might suggest that the universe is teeming with life, hidden on planets, moons, and even in subsurface oceans of icy worlds like Europa and Enceladus. Mars, with its ancient secrets and future potential, continues to inspire humanity. As missions push the boundaries of exploration, we are not only uncovering the planet's past, but also paving the way for a future where Mars might once again become a world of rivers, lakes, and possibly, life. So, as you look up at the night sky and see Mars glowing faintly, remember that this distant world holds the keys to some of the most profound questions about life, our solar system, and our place in the cosmos.